Welcome back, fellow house flippers. Today we've got an interesting idea for a new challenge. Uh, we're going to buy a house and it's only going to be able to use black and white. That's it. Um, we may be limited... Like... Um, I mean, you can't really do plants. I guess that could be kind of considered whitish, but... Things like this, you know, like, that, that are really close, we might have to go with them, but we're going to really try to stick to that black or white theme only. So, we're going to do House After the Flood, and this is what it looks like. I mean, other than these chairs, it's already black or white only. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like a very nice place to live, so let's go check it out. <clears throat> So, black or white, um, that goes for everything. The floor, the walls, the furniture, um, uh, photos, anything. We can only use black or white. So, it's going to be a nice little challenge for us. Uh, taking a peek outside. Um, not terrible. I don't have to mow the lawn today, which is a nice treat. <laughs> um, yeah, the side... Definitely needs some work. This is all going to need to be plastered. Windows clearly need to be cleaned. But not terrible. Not the worst we've seen so far. So we come in, we've got a little hall. Ooh. This isn't very nice. <laughs> Just walk into a hall of doors. <laughs> so, ooh, this is nasty. Um, this is obviously a bedroom, I think. And. Living room, I would guess. This is outside. Yeah, it's outside. And this is a bathroom. Okay. Another living room, I would guess. And a kitchen. So, clearly I'm going to have my work cut out for me on the inside much more than the outside today, which is fine. Uh, considering our last episode was almost purely outside, so... I don't know what this thing is. I've never seen that before. Interesting. It's like a fuse box or something. Um, yeah, I got sidetracked. Sorry. So yeah, we're going to clean up the house and the exterior as well. And then we will be right back. All right. Just uh, taking a break from cleaning the house and going to do something that I have had to request for. We're going to clean this room together just so you guys can kind of see what's involved in it. We just get all this stuff here, pick it up one by one sometimes, and just sell all of this stuff. Cleaning the windows. Definitely satisfying, but slightly annoying having to move your mouse uh, 800 times across the mouse pad. But it is what it is. Can't really complain too much as the game is amazing. Uh, so yeah, we just sell everything, and then we do some cleaning. I think cleaning for me is the most, uh, the most fun. I enjoy it the most. There we go. There's something here. Ah. So yeah, every now and again some houses have these, and you gotta replace all the stuff. And then you can't even sell it when it's done, or before it's done, because you may not want an outlet there. See? You can't sell. And there's another one over here. Right there. Found you. Ha ha ha. I'll get you next time. And this one too. And boop, bitty boop. Now this room has a little bit extra in it, as the walls are completely destroyed. So we just buy a bucket of plaster, switch to plastering, and boom. Okay, I saw that light switch too. But yeah, this is all that uh, it really takes to clean up a house. But obviously you have to do this more than uh, just one room. You have to do it in every single room, plus the outside. Now we've already done the plastering out here. Uh, took a fair bit of time. 
Because you can only do one wall at a time. That was a nice big wall, actually. Um, so you got to keep doing each one, going back to the bucket. Yeah. And then basically you paint it up, or, and then you're all done. So that, my friends, is what it takes to completely get a room in working order. Well, we've done a thing. We have plastered the entirety of the house. All of this here, all the way around. And we've done the entire inside looking great, except we just missed one spot there. No big deal, uh, but every other room is done. Now, as far as the walls go in here, it doesn't really make sense, because you wouldn't walk into a house and see six doors, including the one you just walked through. So we're definitely going to have to do something here. Now, I don't know if that means leaving this wall and taking this one and this one out or what that's going to look like yet. But for now, it just doesn't make sense to me. So give me some time and uh, we'll get this all straightened out. All right. We have done a thing. That thing is the kitchen. Very black and white. Um... This light actually kind of looks yellow. I'm hoping you guys can kind of let that slide, but uh, yeah, overall it was pretty good. Basic amenities here. This is where you'd have your utensils, and this is, you know, pots and pans and whatever else. Now this dishwasher doesn't look like it, but it is white. Um, so I went in here, and I went dishwasher, and I got this one and I went white and I went white and white wood but when you get it it's kind of like this beigey color so it is white according to the game so I'm not breaking any rules um, yeah it's actually not bad I'm surprised that the black wall actually looks okay that's a tiny bit of color but I'm gonna let it slide I didn't even notice that till now um, yeah, it's very black and white, <laughs> but uh, it's exactly what I wanted to do, and uh, it's working. So, next I think we are going to tackle the living area here. It's not going to stay like this, um, and this just reminded me that I wanted to use this somewhere. But, um, yeah, I don't exactly know. It's probably going to be white with black furniture, kind of a uh, contrast from the kitchen. But I can't say for certain what's going to happen yet, because my brain don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get right back to you after the next cut. Alright, welcome back. We've added something. A microwave. No, that's not why we're here. <laughs> we have done a living room and a entranceway. So we kind of did a opposite of what we did in the kitchen with having white walls and the furniture all black. I love these lights. They are so cool. I love the pattern they do. I mean, to be honest, if this was in my own house, it would probably drive me crazy. But in the game, oh, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna actually move this over a little bit so it's in line with the other one. Perfect. So it was coming down here and it was bugging me. Um, yeah, we got a little, little fireplace, uh, bookcase, uh, sofa. Uh, for Mega Entertainment System. And I actually found this. It's called Console Fez. So it's kind of like the game actually does have gaming consoles. So I thought it would be cool to add one of those. And uh, yeah, we decided to go with this white and black um, flooring throughout the rest of the house. Bedroom may change and washer may change. I've got an idea for here. Um... But I don't have it set in stone yet, so I'm not going to go over my plans yet. But yeah, and then the beginning here, uh, the entrance, sorry, not the beginning. i uh, got a little shoe cabinet here and a coat hanger. You can actually put stuff in there. I didn't even know this open. This is so cool. Unfortunately, I do have to keep the fuse box here, but it is what it is. So, yeah. This is actually turning out a lot better than I thought it would. I was really worried when I started this black and white challenge uh, that it was going to be too hard. Actually, that's green. We have to turn it off. Um, I was really worried. <laughs> Not going to lie. I was, I, was, I was pretty worried. But uh, this is actually coming along pretty nicely. I really wish I could push this up one more, but I can't. It's bugging me. Um, 
overall, I, I do think I like the kitchen better than this, even though the walls are black in here. But uh, it's turning out very nice so far. So we're going to do... Um, let's do the bathroom next. Um, and no, it's not going to be just open like this. I just haven't got around to tearing out the walls or whatever. Uh, I'm going to actually put in a closet like this. I think it's so cool. You can actually, it's a walk-in closet. Um, but ultimately, I think this is going to get torn down and relocated somewhere. So that's a problem for future Dan, though. <laughs> anyway, let us get started on the bathroom and we will be right back. All right, time for another update. Uh, I did notice that we forgot to put in blinds. So wherever I could, I put these uh, style blinds here. They just open and close this way. For where I couldn't, like there's a wall right beside it or something interfering with it, I had to use these ones here. Um, let's close the blind here. Saw it a second ago. Oh, it's gone. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh. There we go. Um, this is not straight. Or centered. There we go. Um, so I did the same thing in the living room as well. And now to the main event. The bathroom. It's very, very white in here. Um, had to use these for the blinds. Um, couldn't really see any other way around it. Because, again, black or white. So we've got a nice little shower. I don't think we've used this one before. Little bath mats here. Um, nice little black and white painting. So it is acceptable. We have this here. I don't know if I like the sconce here or not. But when I take it out, it's too dark. So I kind of have to leave it. A uh, couple towels here. This one is for hands and for shower. And this one here is for the bathtub. Overall, I really like it. I'm not a huge fan of these lights. Um, they're not that bright, actually. Uh, like, you can see a huge gap here where there's just no light, so... I don't know if I like it, but this house isn't exactly traditional, so we're gonna kind of stick with it. Last room we have to do... is the bedroom. Unfortunately, I do have to keep this here, because... little secret between us... There's actually a window behind here. Yeah. And I wanted this room divider in here. And it was going like right through the middle of the window and I didn't like it. So that's why I have that column there. And uh, yeah. So I wanted to have two entrances to the bathroom. One from the bedroom. And one from the front entrance here. So it's not exactly you know, something that you would see in most houses, but I have seen it in a few houses and uh, I thought it was pretty cool when I saw it. So I figured I would include that for everybody as well in case you've never seen anything like that. So next stop here is the bedroom. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna leave the floor the way it is. Obviously I have to change it here. Oh, speaking of floor, I changed this out for white panel as opposed to the polished whatever it was before I think it just pops a little bit more so yeah it's pretty cool sorry about my phone there <laughs> um, yeah overall I really am enjoying this house I didn't think it was gonna turn out as good as it is but uh, I'm actually very happy with it so far so uh, I'm gonna leave you guys for a few minutes and I'm gonna get cracking on the bedroom all right, made a few more changes. Uh, nothing in the kitchen. We already uh, talked about the microwave. Now in here, I did add uh, black curtains instead of white, just to give it a bit more contrast. I also made these. Now these are all individual pieces. It's not just one uh, honeycomb shape or flower shape. That's a flower. That's a pretty flower. Um, but yeah, it's multiple put all together. Same ones we actually used in the bathroom. Through this here, just to kind of fill up the space. I don't know if I'm going to put something in the kitchen yet. We'll have to see. Uh, put this here in the main entrance way as well. Bathroom, change these out for black as well. Uh, just for more contrast in here. Now for the new stuff. 
we have made a bedroom. This is like the blackest bed you've ever seen, but it fits in the space and it's either black or white, so it's good. Uh, a couple uh, black and white photos, I found some more. Uh, TV and some stands. I wanted this to be black, but this only comes in white and I really like the look of that one, so um, that's what it is. And little tiny dog bed for whoever buys the place. First time ever we've made ourselves a closet. Actually turns on when you come in here too. So this is actually two different things. Uh, like this is just supposed to be for coats and shirts and whatever else. Uh, and then down here you can do whatever. Why is that not fitting now all of a sudden? Probably because I'm in there? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out after. Um... But yeah, very happy with how this turned out. We decided to go with the white carpet in here. And I guess the only thing that I am not 100% on is this floor. There's a lot of white here on the floor, so... Problem is, there's not really any rugs here that fit. Like, there's this one here, black and white. It's basically the same one we used in the entranceway. Uh, dandelions, same thing. It's black and white. This might be okay because it is just a... Yeah. I mean, probably put it right in the corner here. Or better yet. Can we go all the way there? Yeah. Alright, that's good. And then a little area here is fine, but... I don't know, because you wouldn't really have this in the kitchen, would you? Like, you spill something on it and it's ruined. Like, you're making a big bowl of spaghetti and you drop it and it's done. So, no. We're not doing that. As much as this is just white, <laughs> pure white, um, I think we're going to have to leave it for now. So, yeah. All in all, I'm very, very surprised. I know I said this before. But I'm very surprised at how well this all has turned out using only black or white. Um, I don't know how I'm going to cope in real life when I actually see something that isn't black and white. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So, as far as the outside is concerned, we have to do it. <laughs> uh, we, we cannot leave it in this shape. So, unfortunately, I can't do roof. So, there is a little bit of... I can't tell if it's brown or gray. But yeah, it's it won't be 100%, but it'll be the best we can do. So I'm going to go work on that, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Survivor. <laughs> so we've done a thing here. Um, this is actually black. It doesn't really look like it out here with this light, but it is. Uh, these are black as well, and put in a little pond here as well, which is black as well. We missed a tile. Hold on, we gotta fix this. Stop everything. Stop it right now. Boom. Done. Alright. Crisis averted. <laughs> so yeah, I think, uh, I think we're done. Everything... Except, don't oh, we do have a door? Okay. Um, oh, we need lights in here. Let's quickly put some lights in here and then we can call it a day. Uh, ceiling lamps. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go with this one again. The same one we used in the kitchen. And we just need a light switch and then we are good to go. Actually, I'm going to put two. That way there's one here, and one right by the bathroom. Yeah! So all in all, I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. And before we wind down the episode, I do have a favor to ask. If you guys could please put a comment on the video of a challenge that you think we could do in another episode or a specific house that you would like to see done, uh, or just what your favorite part of the video was, I would greatly appreciate it. So with that said, let's sell the house. Sure, let's submit it, why not? 
Um, nah, it's too American. Get 5%? There's no equipment. What are you talking about? All right. Change the contest. Uh, I got nothing anyways. So let's put it on auction. Uh, so we bought the house for 71.5 and put about 20,000 in, sold nine, sold 11. So we are looking at roughly 82,500 and we are looking at a pretty big profit right now. We sold it for 119,579 for a profit of 36,481. Normally I'd say that's good, but I'm greedy. And the last two houses we sold, uh, we didn't sell very well. Uh, the garden, I think we made like 10 or 20,000. And the, the original starter house, we actually lost like $4,000 or something like that. That was crazy. So let's ask for about 3,500 more. Ah, uh, 37 is good. So let's see what they say. I love my avatar. <laughs> Be glad to live here. Perfect. So we made a profit of $40,000. Cannot complain about that one bit. So we accept the offer and then we get some nice pictures. That's okay. That's not exactly the best picture. That I like. That's another nice one. Oh, that, guys, that's stunning. And that's a picture of a couple doors. <laughs> and that's... Oh. Sometimes the pictures just don't turn out well in this game, do they? <laughs> well, I think that's going to be the end of this episode for today. So I really hope you enjoyed it because I know I had a ton of fun making it. If you did like the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.